Hey, can I smash? These comments never make sense to me. It's like, what are you going to do? Shove your <laughs> through the computer screen? How is that going to work? Like, are you going to fly me oh, out? Soul. Are you going to fly me to wherever it is you live? Are you going to drive over here? Like, how does that even How does that even work? I don't understand why people say that. You know, I just don't feel like you're actually committed to the smash. I feel like you're just talking. You're just saying things. You're just talking on the internet. You don't mean it. Cool. Come on, come over to my house. Come on over here. I dare you. Are you going to show up? Huh? I'm waiting. Tick tock. Time to fuck. I've screwed you all. If there's one thing I regret in life, it's screwing you. Not only did you smell awful down there, you gave me bumps and the clap. Hold up, can we... Whew. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to gather my brain cells. Like, this is incredibly wild. Oh my god, who would create this group? You really leave yourself open to stuff like this, man. It, it, it can't get any worse, right? You could have warned me so I could have used a condom or run away. Honestly, absolutely foul. Oh my god. Woo, how do you recover? How do you come back from that? How do you uh, gather any sort of self-esteem or ego after this? I don't think that's possible. Bruh, a woman's intuition is never wrong. Never? Ever? You sure about that? Way too many single mothers for this to be true, man. There's just way too many. There's a plethora of baby mamas out here. It's a baby mama plague, some might say. A baby mama epidemic. Am I the only one who doesn't like to see a lady's pant liners? Like, this wardrobe malfunction is a turnoff for me. Now, this might be controversial, this might be a little divisive, you know, a little spicy, a little tart, but what if, now hear me out, turning you on isn't every woman's goal? Now look, I know you're shocked, I know you're a little baffled from that statement, I get it. It's just like rocket science, it's, it's super, super complicated, I get it. Boys literally have zero excuses for not having communication skills. Because I've seen y'all play video games together, and you describe where you're at like it's life or death. That is a fascinating observation, you are absolutely right. Communication in the Discord VC is absolutely stellar, and you want to know why? It's because our teammates actually communicate back. It wouldn't work as well if we said, hey Jason, are you pinned down? And he responded with, don't worry about it, it's fine. You shouldn't have been over here anyways, but like, whatever. I'm not upset or anything. At Ryanair, so I paid 12 euros for a seat, but a window isn't included in the deal? Like, what? Read that again, but slowly. Man, I resonate with Ryanair. I, I, you have to deal with these customers all the time. If your prices are that low, you're dealing with the left side of the bell curve. You're, you're not gonna get geniuses, man. $12 flight? There is nowhere I need to be for a seat in the air that's flying in the sky, 30,000 feet in the air, that's 12 bucks. That sounds like a death wish. Lady Mandalorians have boob armor? Oh, come on, seriously? You know what, Anita Sarkeesian? You are so right. Armor should totally be manufactured exclusively to fit a male body, and women should cram uncomfortably into it because denying our own body contours to achieve a male-inspired standard is somehow consistent with feminist ideals. Anita Sarkeesian, I haven't thought about her since 2013. It's blowing my mind that she has a Twitter account that's active. Like, like she's actually tweeting. I thought unemployed people don't have internet access. Man, right when I was having fun, bro. Ugh, ugh, somebody should hit you with something heavy. No matter how much hate we receive, us hashtag zoophiles will always stay proud. Call us animal abusers if you want, but you don't know us. You only choose to shun us instead of reason. I'm fully prepared for the hate that I'm using for this tag. Hashtag Pride Month. Pride in what, bro? Explain it to me. What are you so proud of? I am asking genuinely. This is not in jest. What are you so proud of? Because I'm having a very hard time. And it looks like Mr. C here isn't drinking the Kool-Aid either because homeboy cooked up a paragraph for you. This isn't your Pride Month. It's ours. You don't belong in the LGBT community. So don't use Pride Month to celebrate your desire to commit bestiality. Elon. Elon, what is this? What are we, why are we posting this on the timeline, man? Everybody follows you. Everybody on the platform follows you. They don't want to see dog nuts when they wake up in the morning. Your site, formerly Twitter, is valued at $19 billion, while OpenAI is valued at over $29 billion. He might not have a valuable company, but at least he has dog teabag memes. You gotta give him that. Ayo, I feel like being horny on the timeline. A big boobs thread. Let me see. Hey, yo, where are they? Come on now. You, you, you started the thread. I, I'm, I'm ready to see some. Dude, relax. I don't know what type of energy you on, 
but it's only been like three minutes. Down bad? Thirsty? Those words barely describe the energy, the level of horniness that this man is on. Three minutes? I've never been that early to a Twitter thread. What? You you must be refreshing the page every second. Ayo, like, what's Fortnite? Call me on the telephone. I'll give you a million reasons to play. You and I. Huh? Who are you? Oh boy, should we tell Netflix how this ends? How what ends? Defunct rent a movie store that has a Twitter account that's active? Netflix plans to open brick and mortar locations. I really believe that human behavior exists in a giant circle. It's just a giant donut of the same decisions and consequences, but for whatever reason, we just, we just don't have memory of any of it. Google should not be used in school, nor taught in school. Computers and the internet have ruined kids. You're absolutely right, TikTok commenter. Be a good role model and get off the internet, man. I will absolutely follow your lead. Please, show the example. Be the example and get off of this platform. Good grief. Oh my god, honey, you need to use my tweezers to find your meat. Oh, sweetheart, I'm a grown man with a beautiful wife and kids, so the small meat and salts have zero effect on me. <laughs> but if you'd like to send those tweezers over, I'd gladly pluck a couple pubes out so you can sprinkle them on your head where your hairline used to be. Now kindly crawl out of my DMs, you fucking white walker. Islam is a lie. I'm an ex-Muslim. Jesus is the only way. Whoa, really? What sect were you part of? Nahari or Palau? You know, now that I think about it, I think my family is Palau. Oh my God, bro. These are food dishes, man, come on. Imagine setting up a bunch of fake accounts just so that you can, I don't know, LARP as some sort of born again Christian who used to be a Muslim, bro. Like, you, there's other ways to argue in favor of your religion, dude. There's other ways that are just immensely less pathetic. Girl looking like Greta Thunberg, so that kind of explains everything. <laughs> my man, you know, my fellow Redditor, you know, my fellow individual on said website. I, I, I gotta I gotta let you know that Greta is desperately trying to move out of your head, but the rent is unbeatable, dude. Like you're you're almost nearly giving her money to be in there, dude. You're almost paying her to reside behind your forehead. No way. No way. This is this is criminal. Oh my god. I have to say that I I don't think any of you guys in the audience could remotely guess what the response is under this post. I want you to remember that all she said was Nigerian men are actually more stingy than Ghanaians, all right? That's all she said. It's a slightly rude opinion. I just want you to keep that in mind. You must have begged across countries to figure this out. I celebrate you. <laughs> Steak Friday, haha, <laughs> albeit overkill. Not really, bro. You just have a long rifle and a pistol. The most overkill thing on this plate is that steak, bro. It looks AI generated. It doesn't look like a piece of meat. Hey, Rick. Got a working toilet at home? Cause you're dumping so much crap on this personal social network. I'm starting to think you're trying to fertilize your own little corner of the internet garden. Uh, Allah and Ram are comic book characters. They are not real. <laughs> you know, honest question. Dude, how can Allah be a comic book character if he isn't allowed to be drawn in any way, shape, or form? Hmm? One Google search, guys. The internet's in your pocket. All of human information is right here. OnlyFans isn't a real job. Okay, so why have I just bought my first flat at like 19? Over 100 years of feminism, and you still have to resort to being an online prostitute to be successful. Absolutely wild, the fact that she might have made an OnlyFans account the moment she turned 18. That is incredibly, incredibly concerning. That is not good, but I don't know what's worse. Her creating an OnlyFans the moment that she's an adult, or the fact that her creating an OnlyFans account at 18 and keeping that account at least to 21 is probably going to be the most lucrative thing she's ever done in her entire life. Because you already know there's a lot of individuals out there who exclusively consume content of, of women who just turned, if you're catching what I'm throwing. I can't be too specific because it's YouTube, you know how it is, but you know what I'm saying, right? 
I don't know what's worse. You guys can debate it in the comments. It, it's it's just incredibly baffling and concerning to me. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Aleris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I know you guys have been waiting a very long time for content, and that's because I've been focusing on a ton of more reality content that I wanted to publish before the end of the year. And all of that content was age restricted, so I wanted to to make sure that it won't happen again i kept uploading the videos and they kept you know just being slapped in the algorithm so i've been able to retool them in a way so that everyone of all ages can enjoy some of the best content on the channel and it seems like my endeavors have been successful so i hope you guys enjoy the videos and as always i gotta thank the patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to Tariq d the Blurred Star, Mr. Sandman, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Loving Tate, Tron Destroy 23, Co Connor Purvis, S16, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanaker, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, Swiss Patreon user, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, Always stay zesty.